I've designed my own headphones from scratch and they look really nice, right? And you can do the same because I'm sharing everything for free on my website. They also sound great, so hear me out, pun intended. The cool part is that even the speaker was designed by me and if you remember I showed you this planner speaker design a few months back. So if you want to know more about how I've designed such a planner speaker PCB, the magnet configuration and all that, check my previous video on the topic. But this time I've also designed the enclosure for some headphones as well and the total cost is very very low so please check the entire video if you want to know the parts that I've used, how I've made the design, how to print the parts, the Bluetooth and the amplifier connections and all that. The headphones have their own USB charger, Bluetooth connection but they could also get used by wire, the PCB that I've used also has an amplifier and it works quite well with the planner speaker PCB. That being said, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's make some homemade and 3D printed planner speaker headphones. Damn that's a long description. But anyway let's start. The main part of my design is this PCB here. This is a flexible PCB specially designed for planner speakers. It has the copper tracks that will act as a coil and the PCB will be between magnets and that creates a speaker. I've already talked about this design in a previous video where we've seen how we could reach a quite wide range of frequencies. Actually, planner speakers are always more expensive and also advertised as more quality, but I'm not an expert on the topic. Just for your information, this simple planner speaker cost me $45 and that's why I've created my own design. Anyway, download my Gerber files from below and then go to PCBWay.com and let's order the boards. Now here select the flexible PCBs option and click the code now button. And for the rest I leave it as they are. I save to the cart and on the next page I upload the Gerbers. I place the order and just like that the PCBs will arrive in a week or so. PCB Way has always done a great job. As you can see it is a flexible PCB so it is a bit more fragile. You can also see the coils that are made out with the copper tracks. It's made to work with 7 pairs of magnets. Solder wires with a lower temperature and faster than usual because these PCBs can handle the soldering iron for a long time. The PCB has 8 holes all around for support. And those will go here on the 3D printed part of the design so it will be held tensioned. And that is the next part I want to show you. The 3D design that I've made for the headphones. It's made out of two main parts. The headband and the speaker cups. And also each cup has the main enclosure and three covers. The top ring for the cushion and the magnets, the middle ring to close the case and the bottom ring for the bottom magnets. They sandwich like this in between and then it gets closed with the enclosure and the speaker would be ready. The design is simple but looks quite well and for sure I will make different enclosure designs in the future for the same PCB. I've made some tests for the parts with both FDM printers but also resin printers. The first print with the FDM printer was awful. Look how ugly it was printed. That's why I've also tried to make it with resin. The resin print turned out quite nice but still had some support details. I should have printed them flipped with the exterior part facing up. Actually I've made another FDM print with supports on the inside. And this time it turned out perfect. Look how much better it looks. As for the resin part, because I don't like the color, I first sandpaper it and then I applied some primer. I've made 3 layers of primer and sanding. Then I painted it black and this is the final result. So you decide if to use FDM or resin printers. Both methods are great but the resin one looks with a smoother finish. But in my case I like better the 3D printed look. So these are all the 3D parts that we need. The headband, the enclosure, 6 rings and this left and right clips. The left and the right enclosure are not the same. 
Inside of the right one we also have space for the electronics and the buttons. And that's the next part I want to show you. I had a few options for the receiver. I have this, these other ones and this big PCB. I first wanted to use the big PCB because it already has a charger on it. A wire input for the music but the best of all it has a 6 watts amplifier. The problem with this PCB is that it only has a mono output. It has no left and right channels. And I don't want some mono headphones. I want them to be stereo. Actually I've designed the inside of the right enclosure to fit this PCB. But unfortunately I won't use it. I prefer to use this smaller PCB like this one taken out from a basic Bluetooth receiver. And that at least has stereo output. It has enough power for my planner speaker PCBs. Oh, and we also need a battery. The receiver already has a weak charger which will be enough, but if you want, you could also add an external charger like this one for faster charging. But the battery is so small and the power usage as well that we don't need fast charging. We will also need some push buttons and that's it. Oh, and I almost forgot about the magnets. So check the full part list below and let's start the assemble. First we glue the magnets in place. The configuration goes like this. I first mark the south and the north side on the magnets. Then I use some super glue and fix them in place. Now we take the main enclosure and we add some of those screw threads. I use the soldering iron to do that. Now take the speaker PCB and we solder some wires to it. We take the top ring and add 4 M2 screws like this. On top we add the middle ring like this. Then place the speaker PCB over the pins of the 3D printed part. Then take the bottom magnet support and add it on top and just push close it. Just like that we have the speaker. Now we have to connect the electronics and then close the enclosure with the screws. But first we solder some wires to 3 push buttons. I add those buttons here inside of the main case and I glue them in place. Then I solder the wires to the buttons of the Bluetooth receiver. Then I also solder the battery to the receiver. At the audio output I add 4 wires for both left and the right channels. Then I glue the receiver just in front of this hole for the USB cable so we could charge the battery. I also glue the battery in place. Two wires from the audio output will go through this hole for the left side. The other two are going directly to the right speaker PCB. At this point we can close the right main enclosure. Use the four screws to do that. And the final touch is given by the cushion. I bought a pair of these 100mm cushions for just a few dollars. And I also bought this headband cushion for a few more dollars. Just place the cushion like this and rotate it. And it will get into place. It is almost ready. Now I take a piece of this rubber tube. On the back we have this screw hole and here is where I screw this rubber like this. The rubber will apply friction over the headband later. And finally I add a clip. I recommend you to print this with different colors so it will look better. And the clip just snaps into place. Now the right side is ready. Take the headband and test it out. It works perfectly with enough force. And for the left side we do the same. We add the magnets, then 4 screws, and then we add the middle ring. Then we add the planner PCB with some wire soldered and then on top of that we add the other magnets part. On the headband we add the cushion. Then inside we also pass the audio wire from the right side. Then we fit this wire inside of the left side and make a knot. Now solder the wires to the left speaker. And now you can close the left side as well. Also add the rubber tube and the clip on top. Fit it on the handband and the homemade headphones are ready. Long press the middle button and turn it on. 
connect to any Bluetooth device and listen to your favorite music. To my surprise they sound a lot better than expected. Not too much bass but the sound is impeccable. I'm glad I was finally able to finish my idea. Actually I'm already working on a few different designs for the headphones so you could just download them and make your own. Just download my PCB and the 3D files, the schematic and make your own headphones for very cheap. I'm also planning on making some cheap 3D printed headphones with commercial speakers instead of the planner PCB that I've made. Also to add more bass, I want to add these tiny modules advertised to create some more woomph woomph. So stay tuned for any update and remember to comment below or give me a like. Any help is well received. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it. And the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below. Uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts, all this kind of stuff will support my channel. So thank you very much once again.